All right guys, so before we get started editing, we need to back up our footage. So most likely you're shooting off an SD card. It might look like this, something like this. Now, if you are shooting off an iPhone, something like that, it's completely fine. There's a lot of different ways to back up your footage, but I'm gonna show you kind of how I back up and organize footage off of the SD card. So step one, obviously plug this into your computer and I recommend getting an external hard drive. So just starting out, I've seen a lot of editors and a lot of people plug in their SD card and they start editing from their SD card, right? Now, unfortunately, they're not the most reliable things. Um, you know, they do get corrupt. Sometimes your footage can completely disappear. And if you are editing it off an external or off your computer, it's gonna be a lot faster as well. Um, another good benefit to getting something like this, you know, this is a Seagate backup drive. I use a lot of these. I probably have about 20 of them. This is five terabit, five terabytes in size. So, you know, you can store your projects on here. Uh, it's something that we definitely use in addition to cloud-based softwares like Dropbox or Google Drive to store our footage. So you wanna plug this into your computer and I'll show you how to transfer it. All right guys, so once you plug that in, it should pop up on your computer. On the right hand uh, side of the screen here, I have the SD card. now. Depending on whether you're looking for photos or videos, they might be in different places. Um, usually I find the video under private, M4 root, and clip. And here you can see all the video footage um, that I recently shot. Now, the example I'm going to be giving you guys is some footage I shot uh, with Mind Pump Media, who is one of the primary people that we work with. This is a shoot from a fitness program that we shot a video for. Now this is not everything, they're just some clips that we're going to be going over today and giving you guys access to so that you can download and have some fun and follow along. On the left hand side of my screen here, we have the external hard drive. So when you first buy an external hard drive and plug it in, it can be a little confusing. There's all sorts of warranties and start here with a Mac and start here with the Windows. And I like to do a big right click new folder and I put title it as warranty. Now I'll drag and drop all this stuff and just drop it in warranty. So I know, okay, that's all the crap that came with the hard drive. I'm putting it in one folder and now I'm gonna organize my footage. So this process is really simple. We're just gonna create a new folder by right clicking new folder. We're gonna title this anything that you want. I'm gonna title it shoot one line pump, okay? Now I'm going to select all of my footage from the SD card and make sure that I drag all of it into that folder. Okay, now this is gonna do what's called copying. So it's literally making a copy from what I shot off the camera to this external hard drive. So now I have two copies of the footage. And honestly, if you're working with clients or if you film something that you really like that you wanna keep forever, I recommend making even more than two copies of it because it could disappear. Again, SD cards get corrupt, hard drives fail, and it's important that you get and keep all the footage that you want to, especially if you're working with a bigger client that's paying you money for this. It's really important. I try to back up footage at least three times. So what that looks like is once on the SD card where I shot it, once on an external hard drive, and then once on Dropbox or a cloud-based software. We're gonna wait until this finishes copying and then we're gonna get started in Premiere Pro.